Okay, I'm going to show you how to download a video from Wix. Now this is a bit of a workaround and it's not quite as professional as I'd like it to be. Um, but if you find a clip on Wix that you absolutely love that you want to use, here's how. Now I can't vouch for this and say that there's no copyright issue with this and that you might still need to get licensing or a license from Wix to do this. But um, let's say you're just trying to create a mock-up real quick for a client and you want to show them before you purchase a clip through something like Shutterfly. Um, here's how you do it. Okay, we're going to open the Wix editor first. And I'm going to create a new page. You don't have to do it this way, but I'm just going to create a new page just so I'm kind of starting fresh here. I'm going to make it a blank page. And um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just name it video. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add in a strip. Okay. And I want it to be a video strip. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this down to get the dimensions right. Okay. And what I'm going to do is essentially just screen record this. And I'll show you how with a uh, MacBook Pro 2012. And I'm pretty sure any MacBook you can do this. And most, uh, most computers have a screen recording feature anyway. Okay, so you'll notice here as I'm stretching this down, um, you can see the dimensions on the left side of the screen. It says 1220 and the height is 584. So in order to get this, these dimensions perfect, what I'm going to do is just do some quick math here. I am going to, uh, usually, you know, videos are 16 by 9. So I'm going to use that ratio. So I'm going to take the 1220. Okay, and I'm going to multiply it by 9. So let's see here. 1220. Whoops, that's wrong. 1220. I'm going to multiply it by 9. Equals divided by 16. 686. So that is what my dimension should be. 686. So what I did, I forget what that function is called in math because I'm not great at math. Um, but... What I'm going to do, I'll explain that in just a second. 680, good enough. Okay. Um, so when I'm looking at the dimensions, again, to, like my screen, I'm using a MacBook Pro 2012, and my screen is 13 and a half inches, like diagonally, you know? So the width here, it says, is 1220. Your computer might be a different width. So you need to take that into account. So you take the width, which in my case is 1220, uh, times 6 divided by 19. And that's the formula for a good ratio. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the header. You'll see why here in a second. I'm going to go there, go to settings. I'm going to go to layout. I'm going to go to no header and footer. Okay. I'm going to publish. And remember, I already named it video, right? So it's not going to show up in my site menu because I didn't make it show up in my site menu. And I don't want it to. It's kind of like a hidden page on the back end, right? Um, and I'm going to type in forward slash video, andersonthefish.com. That's, that's your website name, whatever it is, forward slash video. And it's going to take me right there. Now, as you'll see, the dimensions are pretty much perfect. Okay. Now, in order to screen record, I'm going to do command shift five. So command, and then while you're holding command, press hold shift, and then press the number five. And you'll see the screen recording thing appear. I'm going to drag here and I'm going to hit record, okay? And for me, I'm already doing a screen recording, so it's saying, do you want to stop the screen recording? No, I don't. But for you, it'll show, like, start screen recording. And then you just do that, and you do it for however long you want, and then whenever you're ready, you just hit stop, and you're good to go. And then what it'll do, usually when you do a screen recording, is it saves right to your desktop right there, and you'll be able to use that, drag it into your favorite video editor or whatever, and be able to uh, edit the clip from there. Okay, so that, as you can see, it's quite the workaround, um, but it's the best solution I've found so far because I have not found a way to actually download um, stock footage from Wix, which is really frustrating. Um, now, a little side note, you can just go to the Anderson blog, andersonthefish.com forward slash blog, okay, or you can just Click blog right there and scroll down to seven free stock video sites. And let's see. Is it going to load? It's going to load. Um, right here I have seven. I really like these ones. I especially love Pexels. There are just so many good 
free videos. I mean, I'm just going to type in water because that's what's showing back here. And there's just going to be tons and tons of free water videos. And um, so you can really pretty much type in anything. Sometimes it can be difficult depending on how specific you are. But there's a lot of great stock image sites and you can just download them from there. Now keep in mind, you definitely want to check the licensing. Make sure that you do have permission indeed to use the clips and that you're using them correctly. Otherwise, you could get sued. So I'm just trying to protect you there. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. If it was, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much.